All right, it's time we created our first skill. I have the SDK up and running, as you can see. In the SDK launcher, there is a quick link here to create a skill project. We'll place it somewhere where we can find it later on. It will take a second or so before this project is created. There we go. With the project created, the next step is to import it in our IDE, our developer environment, to build the skill. We recommend using IntelliJ. You can download it from their website. The community edition is all you need to get going. I have already installed IntelliJ, so I will skip that step and let's move right ahead to importing your project. So let's find the project that we created earlier. You can select the skill folder and import it, but I have found actually found that uh, selecting the build.gradle file is a safer way of importing a project into IntelliJ. Gradle is the tool that manages dependencies and do this uh, behind the scenes stuff uh, so you can focus only on building your skill. So we wait for IntelliJ to import the skill successfully. It shouldn't take long. So let's open the project structure and view the project files. Here we have the main file where you can select to run your skill. Uh, and we will start interaction in this idle state. So let's follow that and see where that leads us. So that takes us into this flow file, uh, the general flow file where we have configured here on start, uh, or sorry, on user enter, we will go to the state start. Here we can see the actual interaction that will take place in this skill. But before running the skill, let's double check the project configuration. So let's go to File, Project Structure, uh, and here we can see what SDKs are installed and uh, accessible from IntelliJ. Here you can see I have Java 1.8, which is the preferred one. If you have more than other ones here, you might consider removing them, uh, or at least making sure that in the project you have uh, the correct version selected here. All right, so now let's run the skill so we can go back to our main class and let's press the play button here to run that. First, IntelliJ will build and compile the skill. This will take a little bit of time the first time we do it, but it will be much faster the second time. The build was completed and now it's being launched on the SDK. So let's switch back to the web interface and let's test our skill. Hi there. Do you like robots? Yes, I love robots. I like humans. Let's jump back into IntelliJ. And you can actually run interactions from IntelliJ directly on a robot. So if you open the run configurations, we can create a separate configuration to run a skill on a robot. We just need to add, we just need to add an argument with the IP address of the robot here in the virtual machine options. There are instructions on how to do this on the docs page that you can access from fura.io. And here there is the complete instructions on how to set up and run skills from inside IntelliJ. Here we can find that line of code and then you simply add the IP address of the robot you want to run the skill on. But let's skip that. Instead I want to show you how to build and package a skill file. On the right side here you have the Gradle window where you can open your new skill and you can find tasks and shadow jar. And by running this shadow jar build task then you are creating a skill file. That should only take a few seconds. Now it's finished building and we can go back to our launcher where we can select to start skill. We will locate our project, we go to build, libs, and here our skill file should be located. So we select to start the skill and then we can open the web interface where we can try out our interaction again. You can find more example skills on our GitHub page. For example, the newly released card game interaction so you can download these skills and import them into IntelliJ the same as we did before and then have them running on your virtual fur hat. 
There are other example skills here in GitHub that you can check out. And we always recommend people to do the tutorials that we have on the, our docs page to get started on how to build skills uh, for the Furat platform. The docs are really comprehensive and covers all the information that you need to get set up and running. There's this really good introduction to social robotics in general and then uh, plenty of tutorials and learning examples to get you started building interactions for the Furat platform, as well as detailed documentation of the different features and functions in the Dialog framework as well. I encourage everyone who wants to learn the Furhat platform to run the tutorials. They are a really good intro to the Furhat platform and the Dialog framework. I enjoyed making this video. I hope it's informational for you and that you will enjoy creating skills for the Furhat robot. Good luck to all of you.